What's up? What's going on today, YouTube family? We are going to uh, Grandpa Danny's. Yeah, we are going to Grandpa Danny's, as she said, which is one of the pieces of property that we deer hunt. And we are going down there to prepare one of our food plots uh, a little late in the year. We got lazy this year. Our food plot at our property. We didn't really do much with it. Uh, it's got a lot of clover in it though. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Boy, she jumped right to it. She said, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. So hey, if you're not a subscriber, please take the time, hit the subscribe button, punch that sucker. It really helps the channel, helps us grow it, and we greatly appreciate it. Leave a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up, she says. But we're going to, um, take the RTV back and we're going to do a very primitive food plot set up and these work great for those really small kind of tight areas where you just can't get a lot of equipment in and um, so we're going to go in and do a, a really primitive setup. A um, couple things that you have to do when you're building these little, some people call them a hot shot plot, which uh, I think that was coined by Biologic that came out with a seed. That was called like hot shot plot but anyway basically it's just a small food plot and really all it does is kind of hold some deer um, to feed on it before dark before they move out into their primary food source so pretty much everybody, the setup that we have here everybody leave a comment and hope wish us luck she said leave a comment and wish us luck hunter he's just looking cool over here in his sunglasses just hanging out but we got to run a few errands this morning and then we got to we're going to go um, knock this food plot out real quick and um, we'll catch up with you guys in just a few At our spot here yeah. and uh, this may look different but it is where I killed a thriller last year um, and we so had a we we had kind of a ground blind set up back here and we were kind of covering this uh, this power line cut basically this is just a a big crossing deer going from this hardwoods from the thicket back behind me and vice versa. Um, so we're just wanting to put in a small little hot shot plot just to kind of hold some deer because you can't see it from here, but we'll go up to it in a little bit. All the way up there at the top of that ridge, there is a shooting house that we put in uh, back in the spring. And of course now it's overgrown with trees. We're gonna have to do a lot of pruning uh, to get that open back up to be able to shoot this power line cut. Um, but we can bow hunt up there, but we kind of moved our setup from um, back here to over there just for access. Uh, any deer that travel in this area over here, we were kind of going through their bedroom, so to speak, you know, come in from a different angle, actually from the road and not spook any deer. So we just want to put a little plot here to kind of hold some deer in this area. All righty, we're going to kind of get this weed eated off here. Um, and then we got a lot of work ahead of us with raking and and getting some stuff seeded, so stay tuned.
safety first. He didn't have his glasses on. I'm a dummy. Also, weed eating in Crocs probably not the best idea. Hey, you know, but hey, it works. Hey, you're wearing sandals. I'm not weed eating. about weed eating sort of weed that whenever you cut it, it smells like dog dookie yeah. so if anybody you knows, heard him a dog dookie if anybody knows what weed that is uh, put that in the comments I'd like to know it's either that or I stepped in a big fresh pile of dog dookie things to keep in mind number one make sure you pick the right food plot seed for your area um, and what that means is if it's going to be primarily in the shade during the growing season, make sure you accommodate for that with the seed that you buy. So what we have is, you know, like a partial sun um, to shaded uh, area here. So we want to make sure that we get the right food plot seed for that. So once we get this, because this is a very primitive setup here, once we get it all weed eated down real good, then we're going to go back in with what the kids are doing now and raking all the stuff we cut down to the bottom side here and then we'll really rough up the ground and then we can spread our seed so uh, yeah. this is a pretty small little plot here maybe uh 50 by 20 but we'll probably extend it up just a little bit farther than what we have it right now okay. we'll probably rake it and then weed it again and then rake it again to get it down hey, so we, already got it all the way down. Uh, we gotta get it to the dirt so whenever you do one of these plots just make sure that you weed eat it as low to the ground as you can because you want to expose as much soil as possible. We have one at our um, house. Another great thing to do as well is to round up this. Beforehand, um, this was impromptu. I did not round up this beforehand. It makes for a much better plot if you do spray it, kill it off first. We have a food plot at our house, so we're a professional at this. I don't know about that. But we do have a food plot. Professional? Mm, I would say novice at best. She might be a professional. I'm more of a let's just do it all in one day. I don't like taking all the additional steps. That's why all my food plots are mostly Johnson grass. So, but nonetheless, as long as we can see some deer and brings a few deer in, that's all we're after. Do I rake it all the way into that grass? All the way into that grass, baby. All the way into that grass. So, to video of eating lunch at, um, she's already talking about lunchtime. Uh, we're gonna eat lunch at Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Which they hate. But Keep they, on raking. Don't which, give up on it yet. He hates, he threw up once there, yeah. and he just don't like it. I got a feeling I'm gonna be doing the raking. All right, we got it cleaned off. Whew, as you can tell, it got hot. Sweating a little bit. So we got the plot prepared now, and now we're going to put our seed down. If and that's what- If you're wondering 
Hunter is, he's going to fish in the pond. Yeah, Hunter gave up his pond. He's fishing in the pond now. Can't get that boy away from the water. So Paisley here is going to be our seed spreader. Yeah. But what we have is just an evolved Dad, harvest Dad, throw and grow. Why didn't bring, we bring the thing that you put the um, throw and grow in and then you do that? Oh, the spreader, the hand yeah. spreader. It's so small, we didn't need the hand spreader. We just spread it by hand. We'll just throw it around. So, okay. hence the throw and grow. So, this seed here only requires about four hours of sunlight a day, which is about what we're going to have. We'll come back and we'll hit this with some triple 13 and, then we're going and a little to bit lunch. of lime. And then we're going to lunch. She's still on the lunch thing. All right, well, let's throw some uh, seed around and get this thing Ew, finished yuck. up. We want to spread it out evenly. Whoa. All right, I'm going to fill it. So there's some yellow stuff in That's here. That's the clover seed. The Stand clover back the seed. Camera and see you, baby. Clover seed. And some ryegrass. And some of that stuff. And some turnip. Yep. So we're all we're gonna do is just throw it. Yep. That's all we do in this video. Throw, throw. Paisley always says, 